What's going on guys? It is your boy Mars and today we are tuning a S2000. I uh, felt like doing a little JDM car but I am going to put the uh, LS motor in it and uh, let's get right to it. Um, let's go and let's go to the upgrades. Go to custom upgrades. Let's see. Uh, this car is already pre-made that I made it uh, earlier uh, but it's not I got it more for like a stance look right now. So I put the uh, 6.2 V8. I uh, got the car rear wheel drive. Got the car with the uh, twin turbos. There we go. And then we're going to put the uh, intake. Put everything pretty much race on the car. It's a beautiful car. Um, I like it with the original motor, but a lot of people don't don't. Uh, don't race it with the original motor since it doesn't have that much horsepower and stuff like that. But, you know, fortunately, if they, they would have put like a thousand horsepower into the car, it would have probably ran a lot better. Um, let's do this. Let's come back here. Yeah, so I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to put uh, 962 horsepower with 806 foot pounds of torque. Weighing at 2,500 pounds, but I'm gonna check the back tires real quick and see how wide the tire back tires are. With that, it'll tell me kind of roughly. So it's 295. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that horsepower. So I put everything race up to uh, the twin turbos, and then uh, I left everything else uh, stock. So I got that stock, got that stock, and then I got the flywheel stock. And uh, we're gonna go to the uh, brakes. On the brakes, we're gonna put that on there. Let's put rally, since I had a different, I had a stance look to it. Right now, I'm gonna make it uh, put like a little uh, drag to one on it right now. So we'll put everything race on that category, and uh, we'll put everything race on here as well. Uh, yeah, this car is a pretty nice little car. Uh, I'm probably gonna put the actual Forza wing on it to see if I can control the rear end a lot more. When I transition from first to second, and let's see how it looks with these. Oh well. Mm, all right, let's put just the regular uh, race tires. The front width, leave it alone on 215, and then the rear at really it's not that wide, but the 295s in the rear. Now let's put some really lightweight wheels. I'll put some, some racing wheels, and you just put some. Uh, Oh, yeah, let me put some racing racing wheels. Something that you'll see this car probably with. It'll probably be like these uh, TE37s. There we go. And now with the rim size, we're going to leave it alone. The 17 inches. And then we're going to go to the body. On the body, nothing with the front bumper. And then on the rear bumper, let's put the uh, Forza rear spoiler on it. So I can, get, I can control my rear end on the car. And let's attach everything and then let's go out to the tuning board and uh, see uh, what little twitches I have to do, little changes I have to do uh, to make this car go in a straight line. Let's see if we can get some uh, fast pass out of it. But yeah, it's a great car. I love S2000s. Uh, S2000s, you know, they, they always hold their value for a long time. Um, I don't know why they why I can't took, I take off the wing on this S2000 or the spoiler on it, but whatever. Let's go to the uh, train tracks. I'm already here at the train tracks, so we're gonna go right there to the train tracks, and then I'm gonna uh, look at the tune, arrange the tune, fix it up, and uh, see where this car is at. I have it on this beautiful blue with the black top. I got this from the storefront. This paint job, great little paint job. Got it. How you got it on the fenders right there. Kind of get that illusion that the fenders I cut, but it's not. So let's go to the uh, settings, and the settings go to difficulty. On there, everything is turned off. Got the car manual with clutch, and then we're gonna go back, go to uh, cars. On their cars, go to tune cars, and then on tune cars, fifteen fifteen front and rear. Oh, and then we're gonna go to the gearing. Got a two twenty uh, two twenty. We're gonna go back to the gearing later. Let's put zero everything out right here with the camber. Oh, what am I doing? Zero, zero, okay. And then we're gonna go uh, seven there. Races all the way up. And um, 
Yeah, after I'm done with the tune, I'll probably make it back to like a stance look onto the car. Since I don't really uh, race with a car like that, but I know it's 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 pretty fast racing other ones. Um, and then let's give it the uh, the equal balance. Uh, so we're gonna do one, ten, ten, and then one with the uh, rebound stiffness and bump stiffness. Uh, the arrow we're gonna go all the way to cornering. And nothing with the brakes and 100 and 100. Let's see if the car even launches. It probably should. I think I have it already pre tuned. So, uh, to launch the car, you're going to hold down the e brake, guys, and then you're going to ease on the gas. And the car holds exactly right there, almost 2,000 RPMs. Let go of the e brake, and you're off. Alrighty, so you guys can see the car is about a two gear tune car. Um, that's, uh, car is already, I already pre-tuned it, but I had it with the full horsepower. Now, that's why this first gear was so long. Let me, uh, change that first gear. Let's see where it starts to spin. So, I'm going to put it at 2.2. And then we'll bring it back to the, uh, train tracks. And let's see what it does. Then. There we go. Alrighty. Alrighty. E brake, feather the gas. We put the telemetry up. The car is uh, boosting at 14.9 pounds at a torque of 378. Let's go. Alrighty. So, right there, it still didn't spin. Um, but it, it actually did pretty good. I'm going to just leave it there and then I'm going to just shorten, uh, shorten the second gear at a 1.6. And then give it another launch and then see what happens. So what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do on this this kind of launch is I'm uh I don't know if I should feather first gear or let it bounce about twice and then shift to second. And here comes the here comes the train. There goes a train, let it pass by, line back up. Alright. E-brake, feather the gas, you don't have to press the clutch. Let go of the e-brake and you're off. Oh, still touch the corner on the wall. Alrighty, and then I just started bouncing right there. So, yeah, the tune is already pretty made. Uh, it's already made, uh, as I can see. All I'm going to do is fix this. So that's what we're looking at right now, 2.2. .2 and uh, 1.55 and 1 1.2, 0 0.95 and 0 0.800 or 0 0.80 on 5th and 6th. So as you guys can see, this car will be a uh, feather tune. So right right when you guys launch from the first gear, uh, the car will start to spin a little bit. You let go of the gas, hit the car back, uh, hit the gas back, and then the uh, you can probably control that second gear a lot better. Um, I know I race this car more on the, uh, the airport that I've done here. Let's go to the e brake. Let me feather. White ones are spinning. Oh. Yep. So see, it, it's still still loose control. The, I mean, the back tires are not even 300. So uh, if you can get that control down pack, then you'll get a uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good um, race with someone else that has one of these. But yeah, hope you guys liked the video. It's a really short video. I didn't want to go too long and too de in depth. Um, but this is pretty much it. It's gonna be a simple tune. Not that much horsepower. Uh, if you guys want it, you can probably make maybe put a little bit less horsepower uh, since the car only weighs about 25. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Like always, guys, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. See you guys around. Peace out.